Hi, my name is Alex with Daytech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to convert an existing story task or bug into a subtask. Please make note that this is not how to add a subtask, but rather convert the subtask. There's a couple of nuances that I want you to be aware of, so I'm going to walk you through those in this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. So drop a like, it's absolutely free for you, and it really does help this channel grow. Also, drop a comment if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. If you just want to say hello, let me know in the comment section below, as that also really does help the channel grow tremendously. And finally, if you want to support the channel, you might be noticing that I'm rocking my really cool I Heart Jira t-shirt. I have a store, a merch store now, so there's a link in the description below. Go check it out, buy a shirt, buy a couple. I have six different designs, buy one of each, get one for your coworkers, get one for your boss, now that we're coming back in from the new year, make sure you get one for everybody that you know and help support the channel. All right, let's jump into today's video. Essentially, in order to convert a story task or bug into a subtask, you're going to need two things. First, you want to know which story task or bug you're going to be converting into a subtask. So that's step number one, that's kind of critical. But even more critical than that is, you may remember that a subtask cannot be an orphan. A subtask just can't exist by itself. It has to be tied to a regular issue type like a story task or a bug. So before you go down this endeavor, make sure that you know the new parent of that subtask. This is kind of something you should know coming into it because if you don't, you're gonna have to cancel, you're gonna have to go back and forth, you're gonna have to figure that out. So before we go down this endeavor, make sure you know the two things. One, the item that you're gonna be converting, and two, the new parent for that item. So let's go take a look at what this looks like. All right, so my specific example, this SSP10, this is gonna be my new parent. As you can see, it already has a couple subtasks in it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aggregate one more subtask to it. But rather than creating a new subtask, I'm gonna take this bug here, and I'm gonna convert that bug into a subtask under SSP-10. So I'm gonna start with opening up this bug, SSP-13, and if you look over here on the right-hand side, you will see that you have some action, so I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna click on this convert to subtask. This is it. This action, at least to be able to do this, is actually really quite simple. It's knowing that you gotta know who the parent's gonna be, that's the nuance. Because if you don't, then you gotta cancel out and gotta go figure it out. So come prepared, convert that subtask, click on that, and then you're just gonna type in the new parent, dash 10, and hit enter, okay? Once you hit enter, it's gonna ask you if you wanna update any fields, because sometimes, depending on the issue type, depending on the screens that you have, different fields are gonna be required. In my particular scenario, I don't have anything required, so I'm just gonna click on next. Once you click on next, it's gonna basically tell you, hey, we are taking a bug and it's not going to be a subtask. This might be a little hard to read. I have dark mode enabled and Atlassian might need to work on these contrasts just a little bit. But anyways, uh, so we're going from a bug to the subtask. We're just gonna click on finish and that's pretty much it. Now, this is now a subtask. It still retains the key. That didn't change, but you notice that we're now nested under SSP-10. So we can actually go to my SSP-10, that original story that already had two subtasks in it. And you will see that now I have my SSP-13 nested underneath it. There is a way to reverse this. If for whatever reason you didn't want to do this, you can actually open the subtask again. Go to the right hand side. There's a little ellipses over here, actions. Click on that and we can convert to an issue. And if you click on that, then you can basically say, hey, well, I want it to be a task, a story, a bug, or an epic. So you do have that option. And so if we wanted to switch it back for whatever reason, we can click on bug, click next. Again, if you have any specific required fields that are mandatory for the subtask, that will show up here, but I don't. So I'm just gonna click next. And then it's gonna give me a summary on going from the subtask back to the original bug. And I'll just click finish there. And I basically at this point have come full circle. As you can see, this is really easy. So why would you wanna do this? Well, there's value in trying to basically reuse the issues you have. Sometimes the issues are miscategorized. For example, somebody in your organization 
might create a, a new task when they intended it for it to be a subtask. Sometimes they might create a bug when, they, again, they intended it for it to be a subtask. And the subtasks are really good indicators of a story task or bug that explains to you how to do something. So if your tasks, stories, or bugs ever sound like they're explaining how to do something rather than what needs to be done, then that's a good indicator that that, that item should be a subtask. And so now the tricky part is figuring out who the parent should be. But this is just, a, again, another little tool for Scrum Masters, for Jira users to have in their belt because it really does kind of, again, help you be a little bit more efficient with Jira, maybe not recreate so much work because if you already have the issue there, there's no point in like deleting it and then going and create a new one when you can just convert it. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like because again, that is absolutely free for you and it tremendously helps out the channel. And if you want, if you can, if you have the ability, drop a comment, drop a like, drop a hello, drop a question if you have any questions, any concerns that you may have, let me know in the comment section. And finally, to close this video out, as you can see, I got my merch store. So go and check it out. It's, there's a link in the description below. Have six different designs, help support the channel, get one for you, get one for everyone you know. This really does help the channel grow. And so I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.